I want to thank you for joining me for another read along. Uh, the book that we're going to be reading today is called How Do Dinosaurs Say Goodnight by Jane Tolan and Mark T. I like there's a series of these dinosaur books, and I really like these for a couple of reasons. The first one is it they always have a really good lesson about how to be as a person and how to be a good person. And I like lessons like that. The second reason why I really like this book is that the dinosaurs that they draw in there are actual dinosaurs. So what we're going to do is I'm going to read the entire book to you. And then when I'm done, I'm going to go back through and we're going to identify each of the dinosaurs so you know what each of those dinosaurs are. And then I'm going to ask some questions towards the end. So how do dinosaurs say goodnight? How does the dinosaur say goodnight when Papa comes in to turn off the light? Does the dinosaur slam his tail and pout? Does he throw his teddy bear all about? Does the dinosaur stomp his feet on the floor and shout, I want to hear one book more? Does a dinosaur roar? How does a dinosaur say goodnight when mama comes in to turn off the light? Does he swing his neck from side to side? Does he up and demand a piggyback ride? Does he mope? Does he moan? Does he sulk? Does he sigh? Does he fall on top of the covers and cry? No, dinosaurs don't. They don't even try. They give a big kiss. They turn off the light. They tuck in their tails. They whisper, good night. They give a big hug, then give one kiss more. Good night, good night, little dinosaur. Now I'm going to go back through the book and identify all of the dinosaurs. I like the very beginning of the book. They actually put all the dinosaurs that are in the book. Um, they draw smaller pictures of them so you can go through and see the different dinosaurs. So the first dinosaur is one of the most popular ones, a Tyrannosaurus rex. And it's listed, the author, the illustrator lists it somewhere in the room, the name of, of the dinosaurs. This one right here is, here's the word right here. This is a Stegosaurus, which had these spiny backs and spiny tails. This flying doc, uh, dinosaur is a Pteranodon. This kind of duck-billed dinosaur here, this is a Trachodon. This one right here is a Triceratops. It was known for its horns that it had. This one right here is an Apatosaurus. And this is similar to what a lot of people think the Loch Ness Monster looks like, uh, which is a Pleosaurus, but this is a um, Apatosaurus. This one right here is a ankylosaurus, ankylosaurus. You notice it's got this ball on its tail and it's got spines along its back. This one that's laughing is an allosaurus. It's got a cool spotted color to him. This one right here with this kind of big fin on his head He's known a, a, a Coryathosaurus. 
Cory Thesaurus. We're back to our Stegosaurus friend. This right here with this giant fin in back is called a Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon. And then this last one is of the Tyrannosaurus Rex again. So here are some questions I want you to ponder as you listen to this book. The first one is, what did you think about the behavior of the dinosaurs at the beginning of the book? Was it justified? Was it necessary? Uh, do you agree with it? Do you not agree with it? What did you think about the behavior you saw from the dinosaurs kind of in the first half of the book? Have you ever behaved like that, one of those dinosaurs? And why do you suppose that was? And I, I want you to look deep because I think everyone has behaved like one of those dinosaurs. Even adults can behave like those dinosaurs at times. So think about a time where you may behave like one of those dinosaurs and why, why do you suppose you reacted the way that you did? Lastly, uh, out of the dinosaurs in the book or ones, if you know other ones that you want to include as well, what type of dinosaur do you think you would compare yourself to, like that you're most like? Um, or uh, what dinosaur would you like to be? Would you like to be one of the flying dinosaurs? Would you want to be one of the, uh, you know, meat eaters? Would you want to be a plant eater? Would you want to be, um, you know, there are all sorts of choices on the type of dinosaur that you could be. So as I said, this uh, book is one in a series of books that have dinosaurs. You can see here, there's how do dinosaurs play with their friends? How do dinosaurs say I'm mad? How do dinosaurs go to school? There's a bunch of the books in the series, and I've, I enjoyed reading these to my children uh, when they were younger. So if you like this book and, or you really like dinosaurs, you know, check out some of these other books. You can either check at your school library or at the public library um, because they're, they're very similar in that they have a really great lesson and you learn something about dinosaurs.